I wanted to go over this special little machine I have. I've got a few of them like this, actually, but this one is designed to fit inside a suitcase. So it just inserts into these little grooves in the suitcase, and then you open the suitcase up, and you have a laser engraver in there. <laughs> kind of cool, right? But what makes this thing extra special is it uses core XY movement. So if you look, you just have a motor here and a motor here, okay? And then you have the belt looped through here and then down. And so for it to move the gantry up, it's actually got to twist both motors together, right? They got to go opposite to bring it up. Now, if it wants to move it to the side, they both have to scroll to the side to make it go sideways so it doesn't go up and down as it moves like that. This is called Core XY. And you see a lot of the wrap styles where it's wrapped around. This is an H style Core XY. So basically, it's just an H of belt movement, belt loops here. Okay. Well, I'm going to show you how to set that up because, I don't know, you might want to use it. It's really fast. It's uh, It takes off all the weight from the gantry so you can move your laser back and forth super fast. So it's got some cool things to it. Uh Okay, so first of all, we have to mess with our config file, right? I'm going to pull the, the camera view out of the way here. Okay, so let's see. We're in our documents folder. We go to Arduino, go to our libraries, go to our Gerbil, right? Go to config and open it with, uh, with WordPad or Notepad, whatever you like. I'm going to use WordPad. Okay. So there's not much to change in here, just a couple lines. There we go. <laughs> we're, we're thinking here. All right. Okay. So one thing is our homing, right? Right now, oh, yeah, I'd set up for one homing cycle. I got to do two cycles, so X and Y separately. So it can't do them together like normal laser homing cycles do. You got to do separate ones if you're going to do homing. So, homing cycle zero is the x-axis. Homing cycle one is the y-axis. This is core xy compatible, which we're using here, right? So, let's see. I'm not going to go single commands on this. That's usually off anyways. So, use two startup lines. I like having those. And then we're going to keep going one of these days. There we go. Core xy. All right, so this is going to change the movement. So typically, when you move this machine, I'll, first of all, okay, I'll save this and I'll describe it. <laughs> save that, close that. Let's see, let's go to Gerbil here. Not Gerbil, we need Arduino. There we go, with the Gerbil upload. Okay, got our comm selected. All right, we're going to hit upload and upload to our board here. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera back on while it's compiling. Okay, so typically when you move, you know, X or Y, it just tells one motor. So this motor right here might be on this gantry and it might just move X. Well, this motor might have, you know, a connecting rod and move Y, right? Oh, we had an error. Oh, I know what the error is. My laser gribble is still connected. Okay. Disconnect on laser gribble. Go back to Arduino. Hit upload. Okay. So on this one, it's got to use the motors together. And it's got ways to do that inside the inside the firmware here. So it actually knows how to do this. But it's a little more setup and it's a little more uh guess and check on this style. So I'll show you what I mean. It might just work, and if it just works, I'm gonna show you what might happen then. But if it doesn't work, you're going to see all the pains and struggles of getting this to work. Okay, so it just uploaded. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to give power to my board. Okay. And now I'm going to connect to it on laser gerbil here. Connect. Okay. And we're going to do an unlock. Don't know why it's locked. Oh, because it thinks there's a homing cycle. Okay, that's all right. Let's bring it way down to 10. And we're going to move it to the right, see what happens. Oh, it actually moves to the right. Let's see what going up does. Oh, wow. Okay. It's actually moving correctly. 
That's so cool. Okay, lucky us. So if it didn't move, like if we told it to move up and it moved to the right, we would have to flip one of these connectors into the gerbil board and flip it. And then if up went down, so if up goes to the right, we got to flip one of these connectors, right? If up goes down, then inside our uh, inside our firmware, inside our registers, we could change that. I'll show you where that is. And so if your X is in the opposite direction, you add one. If your Y is in the opposite direction, you add two, okay? So where's our direction here? Oh, it's up here a little bit. There we go. Invert direction. So right now it's at zero, right? Because it's going the right ways. If it were going the wrong way, like in the X axis, I'd add one to it. If we're going the wrong way in the Y axis, I'd add two to it. So if we're going both ways, well, one plus two is three, right? So then instead of going this way, it goes this way. So that's how to set that up. Anyways, it's kind of cool to watch these things move. Uh, it's an aluminum frame, so it chatters a little. <laughs> kind of cool. Okay, I'm going to set it down here. I'm going to set this at zero. And I'll just show you some moves. I'm going to open up some good vector files here. Maybe inside my laser folder. There we go. Okay. Here we go. This has... No, that's a little too tight. I might use that one. I'll... Okay, Kirby. Kirby's a good one. All right. So we're going to take Kirby here, and I'm going to vectorize it. So it's going to find the traces, right? Find the red outlines here. Okay, go next. And border speed will go way faster than that. <laughs> that was for a cutting video I had. Let's go like, I don't know, 800. There we go. And it won't fire the laser or anything. It'll just turn on this LED. I set that up for a different video. And the width... Let's see. I don't know. Let's go height 150. I think it has that range. It's not a huge area in here. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do a perimeter to make sure it'll fit. Okay. Boy, that is loud. Okay. <laughs> I wonder what the perimeter was running at. At 4,000? Huh. I'm going to make sure all my, my settings. I've been doing tutorials on this board, so I got all sorts of settings going on in here. Yeah, that's probably fine. Okay. <laughs> sure. All right. So then I hit play. There we go. And so it actually uses these motors together to run this thing. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's just the two motors here. Right, working together for any type of movement. Unless it's going like perfectly diagonal, it's using both motors for every type of motion. But yeah, that's Core XY. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. <laughs>